under 10 minutes, you'll see exactly how we turned a standard AI chat receptionist into Mighty Mo's Auto Shop front desk rock star, ready to quote break jobs, recommend maintenance based on mileage, handle after hours emergencies, and even run a quick pre-service check, all without a single custom API or writing any code. And in the process, I'll show you the one tiny tweak I made that makes it sound so authentic, customers sometimes thank it before they meet the real mechanic. For my pretend mechanic garage, Mighty Mo's Auto Shop, I've built four capabilities for our AI chat receptionist. So I've got the service estimator that provides instant quotes based on symptoms, the maintenance check that gives recommendations from mileage schedules, the emergency triage, which provides calm guidance when customers are stressed, and a pre-service check, which is a quick virtual inspection to prep the shop. Each of these is built using just text-based logic. There's no extra APIs, so you can get them running in minutes. And when we get to the pre-service check, you'll see why it's secretly the most powerful one here. But first, let's go in order and check out the service estimator capability. This is the quote machine. It kicks in when someone says something like, you know, my brakes are squealing or the check engine lights on. So here's the flow. It collects details like the make, model, year, and issue. It references the knowledge sources. So the AI chat receptionist is already set up to consult its knowledge sources as it works by default. So I don't need to specify in this capability when and what knowledge sources to reference, but I did specify that I want my ideal response to include the pricing, timing, and included work when it gives an answer to the customer. And it adjusts tone by urgency. So it's friendly for basics, consultative for wear issues and urgent but reassuring for safety problems. Now this has got a big payoff because you're giving customers a realistic estimate before they've even set foot in your shop while nudging them towards booking. Think about it. Just three of these bookings in a month at say 500 each would be an extra $1,500 in revenue for an auto shop without a human ever stepping in. So one thing to note is that the best way to have your AI receptionist reference pricing would be to set up a capability and tool to reference the main source of your prices, like your inventory management software. That way, when your prices are changed there, your AI receptionist will automatically have the most up-to-date info. Since we're keeping it simple in this video, I'm just doing the basics here without any APIs and using info from our knowledge sources. So for businesses who don't change prices often, this should work pretty well. And wait until you see how I've set it up to handle people who aren't quite sure what's wrong with their car. That's where the pre-service check capability comes in. And we're gonna get to that in just a bit. First, let's check out the maintenance check capability. This one's a mileage-based service advisor. It's as simple as asking for the make, model, year, and odometer reading, and then using our car maintenance by mileage knowledge source. So for this demo, I just pulled up a random blog I found online with this mileage information, and I stuck it in as a knowledge source, but you could just as easily input your own reference, either from your website, an uploaded document, or another online source that's your go-to reference. So whether it's time for spark plugs or just a tire rotation, it gives recommendations and suggests booking without you needing to memorize every manufacturer's schedule. So for example, I'm telling it it can say, based on your 2019 Corolla with 82,000 kilometers, we recommend spark plug replacement, brake fluid flush, coolant system check, and possibly an air filter swap if it's been a while. But what if the customer's panicked and doesn't care about maintenance. They just want to know if their car is safe to drive. That's where the emergency triage capability takes over. This one's all about tone and you can see how I've set it up in like a don't panic mode. It listens for distress signals like mentions of smoke, burning smells, breakdowns, and asks a quick safety check. So like, where are you? Is it drivable? What exactly are you noticing? And this is perfect for after hours or roadside situations. And then it decides if the situation is either critical, where it will advise against driving and suggest towing, if it's urgent but drivable in the case where it'll encourage fast booking, or if it's minor, where it'll suggest the customer just book at their own convenience. It's empathetic and simple, keeping customers safe and trust high while moving them towards service, resulting in more follow-up bookings. 
but the one that gets the most confirmed appointments, that's actually the pre-service check capability. This is for those vague, something's off, or it's making a weird sound conversations, which is typically the conversations I have whenever I'm talking to an auto shop. So the AI runs a short Q&A to pin down the service category without formally diagnosing. So it'll ask things like, what noise is it making? Or what symptoms are you noticing? When does it happen? Where from? Has it happened before? And is it driving normally? Or does it seem unsafe to drive? And then it recommends a service category. So like brakes, engine diagnostic, fluid inspection. So the shop's ready when they arrive. And here's the tiny tweak I mentioned earlier. This is where I just add a few mechanic shop phrases so that the AI sounds like an actual team member at an auto shop. Things like, sounds like it could be your pads or rotors. Let's get that looked at before it wears worse. Tiny detail, big difference in trust because now it feels like you're talking to someone specifically from that business. These capabilities work seamlessly with how Vendasta's AI receptionists are already set up to operate by referencing the knowledge sources without needing to be prompted. In this case, that includes the shop's website, a blog with mileage recommendations, and a simple text uploaded price list I typed in. Plus, you can adjust these knowledge sources anytime by adding, removing, or updating them. If it's the typed list, like my pricing one, you can edit it anytime. And all of this is in your control. The AI will instantly use your new info as you update it. When we do this for a salon type business in a future video, you'll see how I use the knowledge sources to turn casual questions into upsells. If you want to make your own capabilities within Vendasta's AI chat receptionist, here's the easiest way to use ChatGPT for the heavy lifting. When you prompt it, be specific. Give it your goal, what the capability should do and when it should trigger, the info it needs to collect first so it knows what to ask the customer, and example responses so it matches your tone. It may take some back and forth experimenting, but you can start off by prompting ChatGPT with something like, write a capability prompt for my AI chat receptionist that estimates auto service costs. Include trigger phrases, info collection steps, tone guidelines, and tiered example responses for basic, mid-tier, and urgent issues. No custom APIs needed, just text-based logic. Format in unrendered markdown syntax. Why markdown? It's clean, easy to copy into the capability editor and keeps everything structured in a format that's easy for the AI to understand. And if you want to see the capabilities I'd use for a salon's AI receptionist, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. So now, Mighty Mo's AI chat receptionist can answer questions, recommend services, calm urgent situations, and guide customers to book all day, every day, without them ever waiting for a reply. And we're just getting started. We've got more of these coming that go into customizing the for different industry niches. And if there's an industry you'd like us to cover for these capability customizations, comment down below.